team coverage from the West Coast. Dear Jabosa standing by on new reporting that Intel is looking to invest in ARM's IPO. We do begin with Christina Partsinevelos, though, live in San Francisco, ahead of AMD's big AI event. Christina? Yeah, well, we know the 2023 tech market has really revolved around the, the AI narrative. AMD stock has benefited. It's more than doubled pretty much year to date. It's gone from 80 bucks to about 130 in just one month. So what we're expecting from today's event that's going to kick off in about 30 minutes or so, more comments about their next generation CPU products, a market that already dominates with Intel. But a lot of investors will want to know about their next generation GPU which would compete with NVIDIA. Why do we care about these graphics chips? Because they're used in la large language models that are used for generative AI. AMD, we know, is not uh, NVIDIA when it comes to the GPU market, but it is positioning itself as the next best alternative, something customers want, especially when it comes to price point. There is some rumors that Microsoft may already be a customer. Maybe we'll hear a little bit about that in the event today. Maybe Meta will be next. But Scott, I'll just end with this one name. An honorable mention has to be TSMC because we talk about all these AI chips. TSMC Taiwan Semi doesn't necessarily design them, but it makes chips for NVIDIA, for AMD, for Marvell, for Broadcom, and could also be a great beneficiary. We're going to talk all about this at 4 p.m. Eastern when I interview the AMD CEO, Lisa Su, coming up on uh, Closing Bell, so you won't want to miss that, but there's going to be a lot moving. I'm assuming right at 2.30 p.m. Eastern when the embargo lifts, so expect some movement in the stock, and we'll get more details on all the products. Scott? All right. Yep, look forward to that a couple hours from now. Christina, thank you. Now to Dee Bosa with more on what's driving the action in Intel today. Dee? Yeah, so Scott, these stories, they're related because Intel is hoping that Taiwan Semi is not the only game in town and that it can get some of that TSMC halo effect through its new foundry business. And that is what this ARM play is all about. So reports say that Intel is in talks to be an anchor investor to the ARM IPO that's expected this year. And at least initially, investors are supporting that idea. The stock is up uh, nearly 2% today. This is potentially positive for that new manufacturing or foundry business. And it could be a sort of roundabout way for Intel to keep working with mega cap tech in a different capacity. Take Mac processors. I know you know it well. Intel used to supply them, provide the computing power. But Apple has transitioned to its own in-house silicon that it develops with ARM. So instead of designing the chips for Apple laptops, Intel could manufacture them in the future. Other big tech, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, also working with ARM to vertically integrate and design their own in-house chips. Still a very long way to get to that point. Many questions still remain over whether customers will actually move away from the dominant players, TSMC and Samsung. But would note that Pat Gelsinger has had at least some reason for optimism on the foundry front lately. Remember a few weeks ago, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said in Taiwan, their test chips, quote, look good. So there's that, Scott. All right. Dear Jabosa, thank you very much for that report.